Hey guys, me Peyton, your friendly neighborhood wardrobe stylist. I, uh, I was talking to a gal in my video where I stitched this really sweet gal who was talking about um, faking the rock star wife aesthetic. Uh, rock stars don't really exist anymore. Maybe Harry Styles is the closest thing we've got. But I was like, oh cool, you want to do this? Here's how to not get kicked out of where the rock stars are. And then I, it turns out it's an aesthetic that's very similar to indie sleeves back in the day. I'm showing my age. And it actually has nothing to do with rock stars. <laughs> But my video is also like, hey to the girls who have musicians as partners and the guys, uh, here's how to not get kicked out because so many people don't know. I have been at so many shows working and I'm like, you just took a picture of your past and put the entire band in danger. So I'm assuming if someone wants to have the rock star girlfriend aesthetic, it involves a rock star. Um, but I guess it doesn't. I also did two videos on the history of like my favorite rock star wives and how they contributed to music, so go check those out. The aesthetic versus personal style, I did a video on this already, but I wanna talk about it. The only thing that I commented on that I think could be taken derogatory in this gal's comment, or in her video, um, was me trying to help her out. Because when I was 18, I said vinyls and not records, and my ass got chewed. <laughs> so, babe, if you took that the wrong way, I'm so sorry, I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> I wanna talk about the aesthetics versus personal style though, because the only time that I've seen aesthetics versus personal style um, really not uh, align is a lot of the 50s housewife gals. The ones on here, there's tons of great ones that dress like 50s housewife but don't have the value. Every single cottagecore person I know knows how to bake a loaf of bread or they like have a flower garden because they're drawn to that visual stuff naturally. I'm friends with a punk girl band called Vixen 77. I'm actually gonna put their music in here. Go check them out. They dress punk, they play punk, they have friends that are punks, they go to punk shows, it's a thing. If someone loves something enough to make it their personal aesthetic, it usually involves the culture around them. So in assuming this gal wanted to date musicians, God rest her soul, <laughs> I wanted to give her, here's what I wish someone would have told me. And in return, also help people that wanted to get into the industry, here's how to be cool. Had a couple people also comment, uh, I want to be the rock star and not the other way around, which is great. We need more really good female musicians. I'm mediocre at best. One mediocre chick drummer does not need to take up the space for someone who's actually really good. I think the switching aesthetics comes from social media in a lot of different ways. I look at like Taylor Swift or Ariana Grande who like wipes their entire social media before a new release and comes back as like this new era. But we've taken that as like regular people and have adapted that and we've made these aesthetics like it and then we switch up so quick. I really don't think it gives room to develop a true personal style, but what do you think? I wanna talk about it. Happy Saturday.